I want to introduce female nude reading by uh, Robert Delaunay. The, um, the nude, I should say, in the picture is the artist's wife, uh, Sonia Delaunay, a, an important artist and designer um, in her own right. It's an unusual picture, however, for, for Delaunay in that he had, by this time, he was devoting himself essentially to abstract painting. Uh, this picture painted during World War I when the artist had left France for Spain and, um, and Portugal. It belongs to a small um, group of pictures like this in which the, the figure, that is to say, um, representation here, the, 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 um, the scene at nude, um, returns to what had become an essentially um, abstract or abstracting practice. And um, how uh, Delaunay arrives at this kind of, at this, um, abstract art um, is really a story that involves the influence of Cubism, particularly the Cubism of Picasso and, um, and Braque, whose work he had seen, um, but to which Delaunay brings a, um, a, a new element, you might say, or he, or he develops something that had been sort of marginalized in the, um, in the Cubism of these, two, um, of these two great innovators, and that was the, um, the chromatic aspect, that is to say the use of color. And, um, and the motif that we see recurring time and again in Delaunay's paintings, these orbs that he calls either suns or moons, um, really seems to have been derived from uh, chromatic theory. Specifically, the, uh, the sort of charts that had been drafted by the color theorist in the 19th century, um, Chevreul, who in turn was a, great, um, was a great touchstone for the Impressionists, who also were, were intrigued by um, questions of simultaneous contrast and, um, and sort of sometimes jarring um, chromatic effects. Something that, um, that Delaunay brings, let's say, to a, to a cubist and um, expressionist inspired um, language, creating something really very new in this picture.